Can I open it up now? Oh yes, I'm so excited. Cameos, oh, this is gonna be so cool. All right, I love cameos because when my grandfather was fighting World War II, at the end, he was traveling through Italy and he picked up these cameos for my great grandmother and they were passed down in my family and my mom actually still has some and they're really cool. And if my mom's watching this episode, I hope she uh, pops a few in my mailbox and I can maybe set them in jewelry. So I am learning today about cameos. Italy is very well known for cameos. What's really cool about cameos is they're a lot of times carved out of shell, which I, I love, I think it's so pretty. It's like a little, yay big. It can be carved out of stone or shell. And a lot of times, like if you see a cameo, it'll have like a portrait of a woman um, or a man. Uh, some cameos will have like floral patterns or pictures of myth Greek mythology. It's basically like a, a carving on a stone or shell. I don't really want to talk much more. I just want to look. Ready? Yes. Wow, those are beautiful. You know, I've always been intrigued about how intricate these carvings are. I can't even imagine how long it would take and the settings are really pretty. I mean, these are just, I am so excited to have these today. So first let's talk about, we've got two cameos right here. These both to me look like they were carved out of stone. This one looks like it's carved out of an agate. And the reason I say that is I can see some banding. You know, that could also be coral. Actually, no, I'm gonna change my mind. That looks like coral to me now that I have it up in the light. Um, and I can see some banding back there and the coloring. That's pretty common. This looks like onyx or something. I'm a little thrown off by the spot here in the back, but you have the stark contrast between the black and the white. And notice how intricate these carvings actually are. You have the profile of a woman. I'm sure that these women were loved by someone so much that they carved them into a stone. That one on this one hand is agate. Agate, okay. Notice the, the, how intricate the carvings are, how easy it is to see that it's a face of a woman and her jewels and the, the the wave of her hair. I mean, these are both beautiful. I have no idea how long it takes to carve these. I mean, I think it depends on the type of material and how intricate the design is. So the history of cameos actually begins back in the Roman times, but cameos themselves have kind of been woven through history from the Roman times through the Renaissance. They were always popular. They were always fairly common, um, but it wasn't until Empress Josephine, Napoleon's wife, that really catapulted these into I would say maybe a fashion statement. A lot of people after World War II, they would bring them back from Italy as a souvenir. That's where my family received theirs, I believe. Can I call my mom and ask her? Hey mom, say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. All right, so tell us where grandpa got the cameos and what he did with them. When your grandfather was a serviceman after World War II, he was in Italy and he went to the Isle of Capri, which he said was the most beautiful place he'd ever been. And there was a cameo factory there. He bought a brooch and earrings for his mother, your great-grandmother, and brought him home. So you heard that, that's my family connection with cameos and part of the reason I love them so much. What's really cool about cameos is there's kind of two different ways to do it. These are called a relief sculpture. So you have high relief and low relief and each of those are used in a different way to, to make the piece. So let's say that this is the base of the stone. High relief, the carving's gonna be high off the base of the stone. Low relief is gonna be low off the base of the stone. So right here, you can see that there's a high relief between the, the face right here and the base right here. So what's really neat about cameos is, you know, we have two portraits right here, and I believe the ones that my grandfather brought back, um, they're portraits as well, but th there's a lot of different ways to, to carve a cameo. They can have floral motifs, they can show mythology. There's, you know, so many cool things to show, and they really are little pieces of history, they're small pieces of art, but what's really neat is that you can learn a lot about cameos from their settings. So the look has changed over time, the settings that my grandfather father brought back from Italy are not the settings that I would, you know, use now. It's a, it's a different style. It's a different time period. Maybe I should commission a cameo of my cat. Well, what do y'all think? Would you get a cameo of your pet? What's really cool about cameos is, you know, back in the day in the Renaissance, they were actually a way for starving new artists to kind of get their foot in the door because not a lot of people can 
I don't know, afford a big old hunk of stone, but a lot of people can afford, you know, shell or, um, you know, small bits of stone like this. So they were able to kind of show, show their skills, you know, the skills to pay the bills um, and kind of get their foot in the door. I'm gonna talk about coral. You all know how much I love coral. So they probably had to smooth the area, smooth the, initial face down and then I mean imagine those the small tools that they had to use to get all the, the detail if you can see her eyes you can even see her jewelry the wave of her hair that flower and I think it's really cool if you look closely enough you can see the banding of the coral there and how there's kind of different hues and different different tones I think it's absolutely beautiful so I want you to take a closer look I want you to notice the hair on this uh, this woman. I want you to notice the banding of the stone and admire, you know, the detail that went into this and how how tough it, it was probably to carve this. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was kind of cool to focus more on jewelry. I know that we've done a lot of fossils and gemstones on this show, so today it was fun for me to, uh, you know, talk about my first love, which is jewelry. Uh, let me know, comment below if you would wear a cameo of your pet. I will definitely be running out and trying to find one of Ginger today. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got some great opportunities coming up to learn all about fossils, mineral specimens, gemstones, oh my, um, and you don't want to miss out. So let your friends know and comment below.